I'm going to be teaching you assembly language programming, which is really low level. Now, normally in computer programming, we try and describe things at the highest level possible. So why would we want to go to the low level? Well, if you want to understand how your programs go wrong, debug them. If you want to understand how your programs perform, or how much energy they use, you really need to understand what is really happening deep down. Right now, I'm underneath my house. So down in the crawl space, this is where all of the utilities run. So it's uh, hard to see what anything is, but for example, uh, that box labeled phone, that's where the phone data signal actually traverses. So if you have a problem with that, this is where you would have to go to debug that. The reason you care about this is that if you want to understand the energy usage of a house, if you want to understand how things go wrong, then this is the level at which things are actually happening. And yeah, it's, it's ugly. You would really not want to live down here, but understanding what's happening helps you immensely. Now, the hardest problems are not at the low level, they're at the high level of figuring out what people need and then building it for them. Over the years, we've come up with lots of different languages to do this, and the languages often stack on top of each other. So you've been writing C++ in most of your career. A lot of web pages are actually using C++ deep down. But for example, if the page is built in TypeScript, that compiles to JavaScript. JavaScript gets interpreted by a JavaScript engine, such as V8, and V8 is written in C++. Now, when you compile your C++ so you can run it, it used to be that C++ would translate down to C, but nowadays C++ translates directly down to assembly. Assembly language is a one-for-one -one equivalent of machine code, and that's the numbers that actually get loaded directly into your CPU. The CPU in your desktop is probably an x86, and that's of course built using logic gates that are built using transistors that use electrons, that use some sort of quantum weirdness. This class is going to be covering the lower levels of programming, so C, assembly, and machine code. Now, these are famously hard. This class is also good practice debugging, because there will be bugs. It's like as big as my finger. <laughs> 